Well, let's go straight on to the new lad, Victor Tort. What can you tell us about him? Victor is he's an elegant player. He's got um, he's got a, a, a decent uh, techniques. He's got decent clean feet. Sees a pass. Um, he's been playing in, in Norway, so it's, he's going to need to get used to the speed of the game. He's 24, so he's a little bit older uh, than the the players that we buy. But just felt that the age was was a good one at this stage to, to come into our squad. Um, he isn't a direct replacement for uh, Gus. He's different. He's totally different than that. But he's got some uh, good characteristics and and was within the profile when the uh, the recruitment department were looking. So he's a really good lad, speaks perfect English as, as you'd expect as a Dane. So, um, you know, I'm just, we're confident that over time he'll fit in really well. But you've got to remember he's been off for five weeks because they've had, an, they've had their uh, their winter break. So he's got to do a little bit of work to get, uh, to get up to speed in the first instance. But yeah, he's a good player. So just looking ahead to Tomorrow's game, is this one you've all been looking forward to for a while? Yeah, no, I think obviously, I think it's probably, especially for the fans, when the fixtures come out at the start of the season, probably one of the ones they look for straight away. So um, we, we had a decent performance down there, start of the season. Um, obviously, didn't manage to pick up any points, but I think we managed to cause them some problems in the game. So, um, yeah, we're obviously in a, in a decent place at the minute and everyone's looking forward to the game. First game of the season, you were pretty unlucky not to get something from that game, right? <laughs> Uh, I think if you look back and and, um, and and obviously it's a long time ago. So first game we we put together the side and and them two in a different division for them and um, we we started off okay. We start, you know they're a good team. They move you around. They, they, we had spells in possession where we created a lot of good chances. We scored from a set play, really well executed set play, great delivery, great header. Um, and we were we were in the game. We had other chances to score as as well at one nil, um, and unfortunately, the last 15 minutes was um, uh, was where they sort of made some changes, brought people in, and uh, Dewsbury Hall ended up with two goals to his name, and uh, and ended up taking the game away from us, which was. Like you say, it was probably not deserved. We probably deserved something from it, but we didn't get anything. And that was just a, me a measure of the quality that they've got in the side. But we've developed since. We've been we've been pretty good in in terms of the performances all season. So we'll need a really top performance tomorrow. We'll need to score um, more than once, maybe. And, uh, and like I say, it's no easy feat. But it's it's a game we're really looking forward to. It really is a game we're looking forward to, and we want to try and go and um, and and play in our in our way, way we can do. You know, I think we've got to try and impose ourselves where we can, when we can. But under no illusions that they're they're a really good side. And from a personal point of view, you weren't getting in the team much early part of the season. Uh, you you were patient. You got, you got your way in. Was it difficult being patient? Yeah, no, I think that's just part and parcel of football. Sometimes it was probably the first time in my career that I've had that longer spell out of the team. So um, different experience for me, but you know, I just used it to sort of sit back and take stock of my own game. Um, you know, and see where where I could improve um, and try and use that time as best you can. Really, when when you're not playing. So um, yeah, like I say different different experience for me, but you know, that's part and parcel of football. You got to get your head down and get on with it and you know just be ready to um, to contribute when you get the chance because you've got a deeper squad this season haven't you so there is going to be that, that competition yeah no I think that's just that's modern day football you know in, in general really squads are squads are a bit bigger managers want bigger squads um, and with the schedule you, you, you probably need it so um, yeah like I say different experience for me but I just tried to use the, the time as best I could um, when I wasn't in the team and you know, since I've been back in, I've, I've enjoyed it, and um, you know, hopefully that'll continue for the rest of the season. The twelve thirty kickoff. One thing that did strike me last week against yeah, Oxford: the, the low sun can be a bit of a problem, kind of particularly for your, your goalkeeper if he's facing that way. Um, are you inventing problems, or, or what? there's enough to think about <laughs> other than the sun? It did, it did only, sleep, the time. only sleep, Clive. Think I've got other things to worry about apart from the sun, <laughs> okay. and I think it's going to be cloudy. Right. I think it'll be cloudy tomorrow. I think we might be okay. 
<laughs> put your cap. Put um, your cap on, Clive. Put your cap on. Well, the funny enough, somebody asked that. O- Oggy was saying he, he hated wearing a cap because people were saying, "Why didn't Why didn't um, uh, Ben wear a cap?" But apparently, Oggy hated wearing a cap. Yeah, some so, do, some don't. 